What's going on YouTube? Today, let's build a mini island right over here. I won't be talking through the entire video, just here and there. Uh, but just to kick things off, you see me here applying glue to the base of the cabinet on both sides. And then I'm um, simply attaching it together, putting in some brad nails, and then finally some screws. Now here, I'm starting to assemble the cabinet with the walls, the back, and of course the bottom piece, and ensuring that everything is nice and square throughout the process. Sorry about the camera angle here. These are just some pieces that will help brace the cabinet. At this point, I figure I'd go pick up my walnut boards, which will end up being the tabletop for this island, uh, bring them over to my garage and let them sit there and acclimate before I started working on these boards. Now that the cabinet is assembled, it's time to make the face frame. Here, I'm attaching the post to the open section of the cabinet. Thank you. 
At this point, I also attached the casters, but for some reason, I didn't capture the video for this. Here I'm just ripping some boards which will become a shelf for the cabinet. Now the fun part begins. This is a little out of order, but here I'm making the cabinet door. I just love this part. To give it dimension, I decided to add a little frame to the cabinet. Notice this is stain, not paint. These are simply some cleats I'm attaching for the shelf that will go inside this cabinet. Not that this 3 quarter inch plywood would sag but I decided to double it up to avoid any of that. In these next steps I'll be making a drawer, correction, I'll be making a pullout drawer for the bottom.
Oh. And there you have it folks, it turned out great. The grain pattern on the walnut boards look amazing. The white stain just pops against the dark walnut top. Overall, just looks amazing.